if you find yourself procrastinating, it is not because you are lazy. So just trying to work more, trying to work harder is not going to help you. So in today's video, I'm going to show you instead what is going to work. So stay tuned. So here on this channel, I show PhDs how to take control of their careers, either by adapting a success mindset, focusing on the things that we can control, etc., etc., and also, of course, by developing a proper online presence that is going to help you spread the word about your research. So in case you're interested in more of this type of content, then be sure to subscribe to my channel and also hit the little bell so that you get notified every time I post a new video. So when I find myself procrastinating, it is usually because of one of three things. First, I don't really know what to do or how to do it. And then, in, for instance, right now I'm writing my thesis and especially in the beginning I found myself procrastinating a lot because very often I knew what I wanted to say but somehow I didn't find the right words to say it. And this was so frustrating that I didn't end up doing anything and also I didn't really acknowledge to myself that it I procrastinated because I didn't know what to do. And this is actually a very, very hard thing to acknowledge to yourself. So um, what I then did instead was I wrote down questions into the document and wrote down everything that made me feel stuck. And then I sent my supervisor the document and she gave me some suggestions and then everything flowed a lot easier. So in case you find yourself in the same situation, maybe check in whether you even know what to do. And if you don't know what to do, acknowledge it. So make your priority instead of writing that paragraph to understand what you want to do and how to do it and this understanding as an intermediary step might help you a lot with your progress second you might not really see the value in what you are doing and this is something that is definitely going to get me stuck um, very very easily and there were times in my thesis where I had to talk to my supervisor and tell her listen I don't really think this is the right direction to or for me it doesn't feel like the right direction to go into and um, luckily I have a very very supportive supervisor so she always wants us to see value in our work and um, then we adjust it so that it is really not only my piece of work but also a type of piece of work that is um, going to feel valuable to me as the person who is putting the most work into it. So um, this has helped me a lot. But also there are other things that are going to help you if you cannot change the direction of your thesis. So sometimes we just have to acknowledge that the work itself might not have value for us but the result that we are getting from the work aka the title will probably have a lot of value for us or the paper will have a lot of value for us because it's going to help us with our career the title is also going to help us tremendously with our career with our credibility um, even though people are debating whether or not an academic title or a phd is really worth as much as people think it is um, but to me but overall public perception is really a PhD is worth a lot. So sometimes we need to take a step back and see our long-term long picture in order to see how this work that might not have direct value is going to benefit us on the long term and make this our drive and our source of inspiration. Third, the amount of work might be so large that we feel there's no point in even starting because we will never finish it and we get paralyzed by the amount of work in front of us and then a tiny additional fourth piece <laughs> fourth thing is is that the deadline is too far away and those two things go hand in hand quite often that we have a large amount of work but it is only due in several years which is basically a phd so um, in those cases it is helpful to um, break down things in smaller tasks and this is also something that I'm trying to do as much as I can not only for my PhD but also for career conversations to set myself yearly goals then goals then break them down into monthly goals and break those monthly goals down into weekly goals and um, have three priorities each day that I am tackling and um, this way I'm getting step by step closer to the goals but it is only the three priorities that I'm having in front of me which are actually a lot smaller and also a lot closer so this is helping me a lot and also with things I mean we cannot really cheat ourselves that much I mean we still know that the PhD is quite far away um, so sometimes making those artificial artificial I think they're still valuable but they are not hard deadlines so I understand if they are not motivating you and then sometimes we have to play little tricks on ourselves that have to force our and have to force ourselves to get proper deadlines. 
So in case you and your supervisor have a good relationship, you can even send an email to your supervisor and say, dear supervisor, um, I will have this document ready by the end of next week. And um, this way you then have a deadline. So this is also a tiny uh, psychological trick because we usually have more discipline for our future self than we have for our current self. So use this future self-discipline that you have in order to also achieve your goals in the future. So this is a, only a tiny little trick that people very often do when it comes to saving money. That they are committing to saving X amount of money starting with the next race so that they're never even going to see the additional money that they have. But you can also use this sort of psychological trick for your thesis. And I am sure I have forgotten lots of tricks like for instance, I didn't mention the Pomodoro tactic and so on. I have also a PhD time management trick, uh, time management video um, that I can link to right here. And also, of course, if I've forgotten something, let me know and let me know how you are working with uh, procrastination. I'm sure your tips will also be valuable for everyone who is reading, uh, who is reading, who is watching the video. <laughs> And with this, I wish you a wonderful day. By the way, have you noticed in my last video where I had this background, the leaves were still brown. So <laughs> this is quite surprising how long the lockdown has lasted. Um, anyway, <laughs> I'm starting to waffle and there's a car again. As always, if you like the video, please give the video a like. It is always going to help me reach a larger audience. So your help and your engagement with the video is really, really, really much appreciated by me. Um, again, subscribe to my channel if you like this sort of content. Um, share it with your friends. Watch my uh, PhD time management video and uh, take good care of yourself. And I will see you in the next video. <laughs> Bye.